Hello, Nomad's Sculpt, and this video is about baking and reprojecting. And this is um, a nice to know <laughs> thing. So if you don't know it, you get crazy. So, okay, so we need an example. First, here I downloaded an image from uh, the internet and here I this is a plane primitive and I put it uh, here as a texture on the plane so okay the next thing is I use the other plane here and yeah I draw here <laughs> with a paint tool here um, only a frame and it's just um, that you see what happens. So um, we use now the baking option. So uh, we bake only the color from number one high res. So from this image, we bake it to this plane, uh, this plane to this plane. So when I press here now, bake, you see what happens. So you get a disaster. So here, sorry, solo view. Um, you see here, um, here everything is spread out and yeah, <clears throat> it's not uh, the result we want. So, okay, I go a step back. And now I change this image to a other image, the same image, but um, with a few adjustments. So, and you see here the difference here in solo view. This image here has a borderline, a transparent borderline. Because the problem is the, the edges are bleeding. When you reproject or um, bake something, the, yeah, the vertices on the edges bleeding uh, the colors to the rest of the mesh. So now when I select the other plane and I bake from high res, You see, this is the result I want. Okay. So I show you um, a quick thing here in, in Procreate. So here I import this uh, image here. And you see it, uh, here's the canvas. And then you can um, adjust the size of the image. So here use it and Make it a little bit smaller. Only, only that the such a, a frame here appears. So, and here you can uh, turn off the background so it's now transparent. So, like this, and then save it as a a PNG, not a JPEG, sorry, as a PNG file. So this is how you get the transparent border for the images. Okay, so yeah, let's have a look at the other example. I make it visible. Okay, so I start here from the beginning, so I delete this and add a sphere and we need a little bit more topology maybe like this so so I mask here a part here something like this And 
so I extract the mesh so I I use only a little bit of an offset here so I extract it so the um, extracted mesh is hovering here over the other mesh so and I clear here this and outline is active so this mesh here I give a other color So I select now the sphere and I use the paint tool so and I paint here only to see what happens so now let's um, bake here the color from the small ring to the uh, sphere so press so now your whole sphere is uh, red or <laughs> the half of the sphere is red so it's because here here the the borders are bleeding so when I use here the blue color on the on the edge yeah sorry I go a step back and I choose the other color maybe green so that we can see it a little bit better so now I switch back to the other sphere and I bake from high res so you see here the bleeding effect so it bleeds in this direction from this mesh so the only way this um, to avoid this is to here activate the color slot here uh, for the painting and intensity so and protect the mesh border from bleeding from the bleeding effect so here let's reproject or bake so now you see here um, the reprojecting or the baking has no effect in this area so when I pick this and So you see how it works so this is only nice to know so if you get problems with this um, it's um, the mesh edge border um, that causes problems sometimes okay so that's it have fun with sculpting ciao